Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Not A Pro Gardener here. Now today we're going to be showing you how we do the Florida weave on our tomato plants. Oh, hold on, you got a little bug on you there. Oh, got him off you. Don't worry about it, I got it. So, what we're gonna show you, well I'm gonna try to show you a little closer, a little more in depth on what I'm doing around the tomato plants. Now it's hard to do something and record it at the same time, so bear with me, I'm gonna do the best that I can. Now, first I'm gonna show you the way I used to do it last year. This pipe and this string. This is a synthetic string, so we have to take care of it at the end of the year, it doesn't biodegrade. Now I got on the other end by the greenhouse, I have a bucket with a huge spool of this string. This is just what I happen to have. And instead of spending money, I use what I have. Because that other tomato twine is synthetic, so it doesn't break over time, and then your tomato plants fall over, you can use, you know, you can use regular cotton twine or some kind of hemp or whatever you want to use. This is just what I had. So this is what I've been doing for the last couple of years, and I like it better than the cages mainly because I get a lot more control on the support and I can weave it around multiple plants and I don't have to worry about, you know, sometimes your tomato plants get big. I like to have some big tomatoes and they lean on that cage and then sometimes if you bump it or hit it or something that, that splits right off and well, there goes your tomatoes. So I've had a lot better luck using this string and then if I got bigger tomato plants growing and it looks like it's starting to sag over, I can add another layer of string right in the middle of it if I really wanted to. It's not that big of a deal. I just take this thing, thread like a needle, and poke it through the tomato plants and through the other side, and I just sew right through them with this stuff. Now, I haven't seen anybody do that per se, but I'm just saying that's my emergency plan if I'm already four foot tall and down below I got some plant lot, some stems leaning over with some tomatoes on them, I can use this and weave it through them to help tie them up. I like to do this method because it has a better control over the hold on my plants and it helps keep them up, more airflow underneath as well, as long as you prune them accordingly. Now, the bad thing about doing this is tomato plants grow fast, so for the first couple weeks, you're gonna have to add a few lines probably. My plants are almost two foot tall, a foot to two foot tall, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add the first line of string. And next weekend, I'll probably add another line of string or earlier if it looks like we're gonna have a storm. If it looks like you're gonna have a storm and you're doing this, go ahead and add another layer of string. It doesn't matter if all of them are the same height, you don't want them to break off. So that's another benefit to this is you can add as many strings as you want for your needs. Now, this year we planted them two foot apart. I think last year I did them one foot apart, I think. I think I did, yeah. I'm pretty sure I did. So we're gonna go in close and I'm gonna show you how I do this and pretty much try to go a little farther in depth. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. All right, so as you can see, I have a tomato plant that's roughly two foot tall. I have this string about four or so inches off the ground because that's about the average height that I want it to be all the way down on all these plants. Now, as you can see, I'm on this side of the stem, not on the other side. So I'm gonna go all the way down to the greenhouse with this string and then all the way back. So if you look at my handle here, I have it at a 90 degree angle. This is when I want to pull it tight. I have it at a 90 degree. But when I want string to slip through this thing, this tube here that I have, this piece of PVC, turn it sideways, let my grip off of that string there to allow some string. So we're just gonna slowly take you through, try to show you an aerial view so you get an understanding of what's going on. And bear with me, I have a camera and a string in each hand. So I'm gonna go on the opposite side of this tomato plant here. Just gonna loosely string it through, weave it around these tomato plants. And then I'm just gonna go on every opposite one 
like this. And what do you do here? What do we do right here? Well, since I got a seven foot tall T post, I'm going to do the best I can to show you what I do here. All right, so as you can see, I'm just gonna take my string and loop it around the top so I can make this pass around it. And as you can see, I have my PVC at a 90 degree angle to pull it tight, wrap it around, slowly gonna let some slack through with tension. And I usually do two wraps. I grab this string and I lift it up and over my T-post. Now this is a tight string. You don't want them to be too loose, but I snug them up the best that I can. Now, hopefully you can see that pretty good. That's still about four inches off the ground here, roughly. Now, I'm just gonna carry on and keep taking you down and show you the rest of what I'm doing here. It's gonna loosely, it doesn't have to be tight right now, that's the thing, is you just need to, since my tomato plants ain't that big, I can just loosely weave it through here, and it helps since I have a camera in the other hand. And then I'm just gonna go around this guy, and we have another T-post. So, I'm gonna put my string around the T-post first. Now I'm gonna pull it tight, put my PVC at a 90 degree, and I'm gonna pull it tight. I'm just gonna wrap it around as tight as I can get it. Keep tension on my string on this top side of this PVC where you've seen me holding it with my hand. I'm just holding tension whenever I want to pull it tight. Let a little more string through like that. All right, now that we got this one done, I'm gonna go ahead and do the next one and show you a little, show you what my hands are doing when I'm wrapping it around the T-post down here by the greenhouse. And as you can see, I draped that string over the T-post. Just gonna switch hands here. Now I want this to be about four inches high. So I'm gonna grab a hold of this string right here. I'm gonna grab hold of this string, pull it tight at a 90 degree with my PVC pipe, and I'm just gonna wrap it around. So first I'm gonna take my string, I'm gonna go around my T-post. I'm gonna let off on a little slack. I'm gonna hold it tight here, switch hands. Go around it again, string over the T-post. And I'm, all this time I'm holding tension on this string so I can wrench it on there real tight. So that's two wraps on there. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back down and finish this out and I'll show you from a distance what it looks like knocking this out. So that's our Florida weave method. I hope you stuck along in there and could tell exactly what I was doing. Pretty much, you gotta know when to keep tension on the string and when not. And if you tie it to this T-post, wrap it around a couple times, you don't have to have it tight the whole way and then lose the rest of your string. If you wrap it around a couple times, it'll stay tight on the previous line that you did. So as I'm going from one to the next, 
I'll weave it in between there with the line. It doesn't have to be tight. I just kind of weave it in between there where I want it at the same height. And then I tighten it up when I get it on the other side of that T-post. Hopefully you got that from the video. So now, this is Not A Pro Gardener here. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time out here in the garden. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.